Hey guys, it's me, So today I'm going to show you how I made my outro using animation type things. So to make the animations, I use Keynote. So I'm just opening up Keynote. You probably do this in PowerPoint or any other thing. I'm just most comfortable with Keynote, so I use Keynote. And then I just switched to widescreen so it's the same dimensions as a video and covered the whole screen with the shape. You can obviously just fill in the screen, but I didn't like the colors or options it was giving me. So I want to play around with it a little bit more and make it more of this like tealy color, which I'm used to my fold out trouble as well, just because like oceans, Atlantis, you know, I need something to fit that together. So that's what I'm doing, and then I'm playing around with the colors for the big title as well that says my channel name in it and then i'm opening up two of these little square type things which are going to be like the thumbnail where the thumbnails are going to go if that makes any sense and i made it 16 by 9 and then i just clicked shift and made it larger to a size that seemed about right and then copied and pasted it so that i would have two of the exact shape same not shame and then i added a border of i think it was around 10 ish points 12, yep i don't know roughly and then I made the border pink because that's what people are going to see. They're not going to see the actual shapes because I'm going to fill them in with the same background color. And where the inside part is where the thumbnail widget is going to go when it's in YouTube, which you're going to see by the end. Now here comes like the animation part. When you go to the anime part in Keynote, you can play around with different effects. And I decided I like the sparkle. So I made a sparkle from bottom to top for both of them. And then I added the little widgets for Instagram and Twitter because I want to have my Instagram and Twitter on my end card as well. And then I animated those as well. I also made little like titles for both the thumbnail type things because one is going to be like what your, my most recent upload is and one is going to be what YouTube recommends you to watch because I feel like both of those are pretty helpful things to have and YouTube gives you the option to do both so you as well have both in there. Now on to the animating part again. Basically you just go to animate and you click add effect and you can make it as long or short as you want. There's a bunch of effects in there. I really like the fire one but I've yet to come up with the excuse to use it. So instead I just stuck to simple ones such as the flip, pivot, and I think the only extra one in there is sparkle and that's just cause like, I don't know, I thought it'd be cool to add a little bit of sparkle. Now when we export it, you're going to go into QuickTime 1080p and then you can name it whatever. Basically you just go to export QuickTime 1080p and then you just can export it. You can also change around how much space you want in between each thing but I just leave it as it is and then I open up the video in Final Cut. You can use iMovie, you can use Windows Movie Maker probably. All you need is to have a split screen effect for it to be able to work. I just have to be very comfortable with Final Cut so I stuck to what I know. Now I'm just cutting out like the little gaps in between each animation because I want it to all go like... You know what I mean? You can't see my hands but like I'm talking with my hands as usual. So next what you're going to do is you're going to pile like... Okay, I want both of the thumbnails to go up in the sparkle effect at the same time but you can't do that in Kino. So what I did is I put them on top of each other and then I'm going to split the screen in the middle so both videos play at the same time, but it looks like it's one happening at the same time, but really it's two different parts of the video, which is pretty simple to do. You can do it in iMovie, I know for a fact. You can use picture in picture and like drag and stuff, but in this, what you can do with Final Cut that I don't think you can do with iMovie is what I did for the Instagram and Twitter, where I cut it horizontally instead of vertically. You can see as I do it, but it's pretty simple, really. As you can see, I'm just like cutting it in the middle so that way both of the things play at the same time. And then I did that for the text on the bottom and with the Instagram and Twitter and the usernames so it all just like flows smoothly. Thank you. 
as you can see like how I did the Instagram and Twitter it's like not exactly in the middle horizontally but like I cut it horizontally so that they would both flip and then I just added a Gaussian I think you say blur from the light leak I put at the beginning which I've been putting at the beginning of my outros for the longest time and then I just put a Gaussian blur again when I so basically I opened up the next video added the little Gaussian blur added the outro which I just copy and pasted in there made sure it all flowed smoothly and then I added the music, which is by called Good Morning by, I think it's Lakey Inspired. Yeah, Lakey Inspired, I think roughly. I don't know. That's where I found it on Spotify. And I link it down below in my videos when I use it. And then I added the fade to black at the end, made sure it all looked nice. And then you can export your video as you usually do and upload it as well as you usually do. Once you have it uploaded and you go to the add elements and add card section of your settings, you can play around with where you want the widgets to come in and then add an element so you can add I think up to four so I added my most recent upload and then I also added the um what you what YouTube like what's recommended for you and I just put them in roughly around where the video had already made the little pink things that I showed earlier And then the last widget I added was a link to my channel, and I just put that right above where the social media links would come in. So in total, it kind of like flows all like so. And so yeah, that's everything. If you guys like this video, subscribe, and I'll show you how the finished outro looks right about now-ish. Bye!